Hey guys, so I'm sorry that I haven't been making a lot of videos in so long, but today I will. So I'm going to make gnocchi. So let's get on with the video. For those of you who don't know what gnocchi is, it is a Italian style dumpling that um, it's like known as for like pasta that you could put marinara on and pesto. First, you will need washed and cut potatoes that are organic. Here's a little tip. I cut them because it will cook faster. Add enough water to cover and boil till tender. I also like to put a little bit of salt in there to get it, give it a little taste. <laughs> Now it's time to check if it's fork tender, but if you don't know what that means, it means that you could poke in the fork and you could take it out without picking it up. So, let's see. Oop. Kind of fork tender? No. Now I'm just going to give it a few more minutes. Now it's time to check again. Perfect. Now that my potatoes are done, I drain them and now I'm going to mash them. Mash the potatoes well and don't leave any lumps. For every one cup of potatoes, you need one cup of flour. In my bowl, I have one cup of mashed potatoes and one cup of organic brown rice flour. Now it's time to mix it up. The dough was a little dry at first, so I added four tablespoons of water to make it more, what is it called? Moisturized. <laughs> Now that my gnocchi dough is all mixed up and kneaded, I'm going to take a piece out and roll it into a rope shape. Okay. Now that my gnocchi dough is rolled out into a rope shape, I'm going to cut it up into little pieces. Usually when I eat gnocchi, I see little lines in it, so I'm going to use a fork for it just to be creative and do this. Roll it out on the fork, like so. Now I'm done with my gnocchi. This is how much one potato made. And now that they are all done, I'm going to put them in a pot with boiling water. Just to let you know for a little tip, put flour on them so they won't stick together in the pot. Once the water is boiling, you can put your gnocchi in. I'm using a little technique so I won't burn myself. Always be careful in the kitchen. <laughs> I did it right. You'll know when your gnocchi is ready when it starts to float to the top. Now it's time to taste. I topped it with a little vegan marinara sauce. You could top it with the, whatever you like, like pe vegan pesto and stuff like that. Mm. So good. The pros is re the really it's just so good. It tastes delicious, but the con a little too sticky. Yeah, but I still like it. My ratings are thumbs up, thumbs in the middle, thumbs down. I gave it a thumbs up even though it was sticky. It was probably sticky because we cooked it too long. So let's keep a bowl right in front of the pot. So we'll put it in the pot the bowl right away i hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below bye